Hey guys, I have a very small, um, short blah, 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 um, charity book haul for you today. And I thought I'd also show you the two things I picked up too for 50 cents. Um, I usually go around um, tripping around to some charity shops every once in a while and I pick up some interesting things. So the first thing I found today was this, I don't know if it's wood, I think it's wood. But it's a um, sort of gargoyle thingy looking thing. I don't know, it gives me the willies but um, it was interesting. So I thought to pick it up and put it on my fantasy bookshelf because it looks, you know, very fantasy-like. And it feels like metal but I think it's wood. But I could be wrong. And then I picked up this, like I probably will have no intention of actually using it as a candle light lamp thing, but I picked up this interesting lamp for 50 cents, um, apparently it's a candle one, you put the candle in there, and then that's the lid, and I'm a sucker for these kinds of things, so, um, I'll probably put it on, on one of my bookshelves or maybe on top of my cabinet or something, but it just looked interesting, so I picked it up. Like 50 cents, I'm not going to lose out, really. And then I found some um, books at the charity shop. I wasn't going to buy any, but they were $2 and $1. And I thought, well, you know, I've heard about them, so, and I have been interested in picking them up. So the first one is um, At Home with the Templetons by Monica McKinnery. And it's a whopper. And I think I saw it on Deb's book channel, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it says, When the Templeton family from England takes up residence in a stately home in country Australia, they set the locals talking and with good reason. From the outside, the seven Templetons seem so unusual, peculiar even. No one is more intrigued by the family than their neighbours, single mother Nina Donovan and her son Tom. Before long, the two families' live lives become intertwined in unexpected ways, to the delight of Gracie, the youngest of the Templeton daughters. In the years that follow, the relationships between the Templetons and the two Donovans twist and turn in unpredictable and life-changing directions until a tragedy tears them apart. What will it take to bring them together again? From Australia's top-selling female novelist comes her best book yet, a wonderfully entertaining and touching story about the perils of pleasure, love, friendship and family. So, I thought that was really quite interesting. And it's like it's a massive, massive book. And then I picked up a book by Isabel Wolf called Forget Me Not. And it says, in the tradition of Jane Green. And I love the cover of this book. It's, and I think the last one was $2. And this one was a dollar. I think, yeah, a dollar. And it's in really good condition. And I saw it before in a shop and it was like $20. So, um, it says, Anna Temple is about to start a new life. What is it with temples? Um, it's not just another, sorry, it's just, it's not quite the one she had in mind after the sudden death of her mother. Anna, Anna realizes she must live for the moment, swapping hedge funds for her, her Baskus borders and, Shares for scented for shares for scented stocks. So, blah, 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 stocks. Very complicated. She leaves the city to fulfill her dream of becoming a garden designer, a tribute to her green fingered mother. But on the eve of her sparkling new future, she makes she meets Zan. Their their chance encounter changes her world in more ways than one than she can have ever imagined. Enter baby Millie. Nine months later, juggling her new business and her new motherhood is a struggle, especially alone. Meanwhile, Anna's father has moved to London to escape his memories, but he's begun acting rather strangely. Neither Anna nor the incredible young sister, Cassie, can figure out what she's up to. Then Anna unearths a long-buried family secret and unwelcome news about the new man in her life. Skeletons tumble from the closet and the past rears its ugly head. Suddenly nothing as is as it seems, past or present. <laughs> so that was a mouthful but um yeah it sounds interesting um it's apparently a feel-good novel chick litty sort of thing so definitely want to add to my shelf sorry i'm just okay. and then lastly i can't remember if this is the first book in the series but i picked up poison study i'm pretty sure it is 
um, by Maria V. Snyder. And this was two dollars, and it is in perfect condition. I mean, like, really, like it's almost brand new. I know it's been read because I can see the thing there, but um, yeah. So um, for those who don't know what it is about, it says choose a quick, choose a quick death or a slow poison. On the eve of her execution for murder, Yelena Zeltana is offered an incredibly Incredible reprieve on the condition that she becomes a three taster for the military leader of Zia, Commander Ambrose. Avoiding poison is the least of her troubles, however. General Brazel, father of the man she killed, has vowed bloody revenge. She's beginning to have feelings for her captor, Balak, and someone is plotting a downfall of her current regime. In a desperate race for, against time, Elena must learn to control the growing magic talent within her and master the demons in her past. The commander's life and the future of Zia. Zixia and all those she loves depend on it. So, yeah. So those are the books I have, and you know, for fifty cents or two dollars and stuff like that. I think I paid five dollars for all of the books in their entirety. So, how can you go wrong with that? And most of them are books that I've been thinking of picking up anyway. So, so thank you guys for watching, and bye.